Welcome to Grandma Dolphin's Kitchen. I have been cooking ever since I was five years old. So that means I've been cooking about 66 years. I have 10 children and I have 40 grandchildren. And they're my greatest fans. Welcome to Grandma Dolphin's Kitchen. I got a good one for you today. We're going to do some more Bermuda uh, foods. And my friend Al is here, and we're going to do some uh, Bermuda dishes. Now we're going to do a fish cake. Uh, fish cake is from fish that we had left over from the uh, cuffish breakfast. We mashed some of the potato that we also used, and we put chopped up onions with it, and some garlic, and uh, parsley. And I put that together, mix it together in a little bowl. Or you might have to use a little bit a bigger bowl if you really like it once I have that mixed up I also put an egg in it the egg holds it together when you're frying it so it don't fall apart because if you don't pull your egg put your egg in there you're gonna find a lot of different little pieces in there now you take it you take a uh, 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 spoonful out you put it in your hand and you boil it. You roll it like that. Put your, you have a pen. You put it in hot oil. You can. Most people would like they put it flour on it, but I think uh, this uh, like we're doing is also known to do this like this. Now what you do when you're cooking that, you do it till it's golden brown. You turn it over, and once it's golden brown on both sides, it's good to go. You could either, you could put it make a sandwich out of it. You could also put it between a hamburger roll, and that's what they call a fish cake on bun. Or if you want a sandwich, you have a fish cake on bread, which we call fish cake on sandwich. Yeah. So right now, we're just waiting for it to get brown. Once it get brown, we turn it over, and we could put it any way we want. You could also have a luncheon with it. You could put it on a plate and have a salad with it. Now, uh, once we have uh, codfish left over from the codfish breakfast, we don't throw things away. What we do, uh, we put codfish together, and uh, we make different meals from it. You could, uh, you can make sandwiches from it. You can make, you can make it with a uh, salad, and this is something that we don't waste because it's such a good meal. And once you have that fish and that potato and onions together and parsley, it's a tremendous flavor. And that will be a nice Bermuda-style lunch. And like I said, you can either make a sandwich out of it, or you can put it on a, a hamburger roll. Or you can put it in a plate and garnish it with uh, salad or maybe vegetables. And there you go, you have yourself a nice lunch. I'm doing, I'm just patting it down so that uh, it could be a wider fish cake when I get it together. Because if you're making a fish cake sandwich or putting this on the bun, you want to be as wide as the bun or wide as the fish of the uh, hamburger roll. So you don't want the, uh, the fish cake get lost in the burger roll. It would be nice if it was the same size same width or diameter inside the roll. Okay, here we go. We turn it over. And as you can see, it's nice and golden brown. That's why it's important to put the egg in there because once you put the egg in there, it will keep together as you move it around or turn it around or turn it upside down. And once the next side is completed and getting brown, it's good to go. Enjoy it. And that's our that's uh, really how we make our homemade fish cakes in Bermuda. And I hope if you could put that together, you're going to really enjoy it. Cod fish cakes, okay? And this is the way it looks. Today. So happy eating to you. You can have this today. Your way from Dada's Soul Food Kitchen. Remember, I have a cookbook out. Uh, it's called Dada's Mississippi Soul Food. And you can go to Amazon.com and purchase a copy, and they'll send it right to your door. All you gotta do is go to Amazon.com and punch in Grandma. Dolphins Mississippi Soul Food by Dorothy Woods and they'll ship it right to your door.